As the U.S. launched its new round of tariffs, Taiwan's top officials convened a national security conference to formulate a policy response. After the meeting, President Tsai Ing-wen said that the latest tariffs would have a limited impact on Taiwan. She also said her administration intended to facilitate the return of Taiwanese capital from China. She said she was not considering the KMT's idea of establishing free trade zones, saying the zones would be more harm than help for the economy. President Tsai traveled to Huangyan this afternoon for a whirlwind tour of four temples, where she shook hands and gave out autographs. Before she visited supporters at the temple, she had addressed the latest round of fire in the U.S.-China trade war. She convened a high-level national security conference. The tariff hike will have a limited impact on us because it doesn't affect Taiwan's main exports. If tariffs are later expanded to include more expensive products, if those products end up on the tariff list, then we would have to respond with more care. President Tsai also rejected a proposal from the KMT camp on setting up free trade zones. She reiterated that there was no need. Mixing Taiwanese goods with Chinese goods will result in Chinese products becoming disguised as domestic ones. That would almost send Taiwan back decades, back to the days of the export processing zones. In these years, Taiwan has worked hard to extricate its economy from China. We don't need to backtrack by way of free trade zones. President Tsai said that having free trade zones would put off the U.S. and other countries from signing free trade agreements with Taiwan. The free trade zones would be the greatest hindrance to Taiwan's economic development, she said.